Hey everyone, it's me, Ethan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Sideshow's Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader. So without anything else to do, guys, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we'll take a look at, as always, is the box. As you can see, this is a pretty cool uh, box that Sideshow's made. You can see that it's sort of like how Hot Toys makes their box with the image here, and then you get the more of the gunmetal color for the side areas here just to give it character so again it looks like more of the hot toys style boxes but here we have another picture of darth vader and then we as we go farther down you can see we got star wars darth vader this is a sideshow six scale figure on the side here again just says star wars and the top there as you can see again still got that almost that same exact design as the hot toys boxes do and then on the back here, we have another picture of Darth Vader, and it pretty much says the same thing in the front. That pretty much wraps up the box. Then when it comes to opening up the box, instead of how you usually have the shoe box cover, actually this one, back when this was made in, I believe, 2016, so this figure's a little bit old, even though it just currently sold out, not even a year ago, it actually just sold out. Uh, again, it's designed like the clone trooper boxes that we saw earlier. If you remember, recall my video I did on the Bomb Squad Trooper, it has pretty much the same exact box design because it came out that same year that this figure came out, 2016, is what I'm led to believe because of the copyright dates on the boxes. So as you open it up here, we have another picture of Darth Vader and another pose. And then right here, as you can see, this is where he would be, where the figure would be held. And so now that actually wraps up the box. All right, for now, for the accessories that Darth Vader comes with, he doesn't have that many. Again, pretty obvious just because it's Vader. All he mostly has is a lightsaber, and it's pretty much all you really see in the movies. It's just him with a lightsaber and all that. And maybe different hand gestures, which is why you have so many, even though we only came with eight hands. But as you can see here, the first couple of hands we have here is actually like the one that we see sort of like in Empire Strikes Back when he's... Uh, Pretty much grabbing out to Luke saying like join me and blah blah even though this is the return of the Jedi Darth Vader has that you can also use it like a sort of like a force like he's holding something with the force or he's pretty much using the force <laughs> so that's pretty much the force using hand and that would be for his right hand this is the right hand stuff so and then the other right, right hand here we have is another well is the first hand that we have with, that holds the lightsaber. So again, these are nice rubber material. So these won't really, uh, when you're trying to put stuff into them, it really will be easy to work with. Next thing we have here is the right hand for holding the boxes on his belt. So the, with those iconic poses where you have where he's holding his belt, you can do that. And then he's got a pointing, a pointing finger for his left hand. As you can see, so if you want to have him pointing at an officer or something, you can, which is pretty cool. And then we have another lightsaber holding hand, again, for the left hand. And the last one we have is now, again, the left hand for holding the belt boxes. And then on top of that, we also have two different lightsabers. So we have the first lightsaber we have is the one with no blade attached to it. It's just his... It's just the actual saber itself, or not really the saber, but the handle of the lightsaber. So you get that. It does have some little clips. It has one on the top here, as well as one on the bottom if you want to have it where it's hanging like this. Now, I believe we mostly see him hanging at like this on his belt. And then also you can see there's like a little steel rod or metal rod right here. Uh, again, I don't know why that's there, but maybe that was in the prop. I have no idea. Then here we have the actual lit lightsaber as you can see it's not like how hot toys has it where you can get where there's like a light function for it the sideshow just has it where you just have the hilt of the lightsaber and then you also just have the the lightsaber itself turned on and again same thing just this time with the red blade which anyway it is a lot thicker compared to the side hot toys figures we get and then here you can see we do i do have some extra wrist pegs here but again these aren't really extra because all these hands already have the wrist pegs already put into them. And just two of them, they came out because I'll show you later on that this figure mostly tends to, when you pull out the hands, 
the wrist peg is stuck with the arm. But pretty much, guys, that wraps up all the accessories that Vader comes with. Also, his stand. <laughs> so now that pretty much wraps up everything. So now we'll go and take a look at Vader himself. So now, everyone, here is Vader himself. Again, standing in front of the camera. Now, sorry for the kind of weird angle with the camera. Uh, just Vader is pretty tall, and he is the tallest figure I have in my collection so far as of right now. So again, he's just... Like what? He's like almost 14. I think he's almost 13 inches tall. So yeah, he might be a little bit closer to 14. But again, he is a pretty tall person, as you can already see. So the first thing we have here, as you can see, we have Vader's helmets. Again, very nicely sculpted on here. Uh, even for a Sideshow figure. Again, the Sideshow does, they do a pretty good, okay job with a lot of their figures. Now, again, we're coming towards more uh, present time with stuff like that. And like the one that's recently came out i don't know a couple of years ago it might have been a year ago was sideshow's endor luke which is what would go perfectly with this vader since this is sideshow's vader but yeah it's okay it's just the face sculpt though does not look like luke at all does not look like luke at all and that's the only thing i have an issue with it just doesn't look like luke but anyway, that's for a different video, but luckily I don't have that figure, so I don't really have to do a video on that. But here, as you can see, we have the helmet, which is, again, very nicely detailed, very shiny. It's got a nice gloss effect to it, as well as now his shoulder armor here, too. And if you flip the cape over here, you can see we also do have the other shoulder armor, which does move like the hot toy version of Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back, which, speaking of which... I will be getting that figure because I did pre-order the 40th anniversary edition that Hot Toys put out. So I will be getting that one out and I will be doing a comparison between the two. Because pretty much are, the Empire Strikes Back and the Return of the Jedi Vader are pretty much pretty similar, I think, from what I remember. But here we do have nice shoulder armor, which is uh, held on to the top here. So you can get a good amount of posability. With this guy with this guy which is cool now anyway this arm is a little bit looser than this one but again this is a figure that was like what four years old so it's gonna it's gonna get some loose joints unless that came like that and i think it may have because the guy I ordered it from or bought it from he had a package brand new so that might have been another issue and then here we also have the chest panel here so we have the main panel that controls his breathing everything he does which is pretty cool and then we have the two light-up boxes now speaking of the light-up boxes if I go back here there is a little switch I can turn on and oh how about that for the video the batteries actually died so I gotta get those batteries out and maybe replace them so sadly I can't show you guys the light-up feature but it did have a light-up feature which is really cool and what in the switch in the back here which i'll show you right now um if you guys don't have this figure this to me this actually i think competes a lot with the uh, hot toys version because i know hot toys doesn't really have this design even though they do have a light-up feature oh and also you can see there is more detail you can also see my reflection in there you can wave to the camera and see. <laughs> but here you can see that we have this switch right here on the back of the belt and all that does you or, yeah, all it does is you just switch it on and it turns on everything instead of just like for the Hot Toys one, I believe you got to turn on all separately, which is okay for the figure design because I don't really think uh, it would take a, a lot away. It might just have it because anyway, I've, I know a lot of people talked about how this Vader in particular, it just seems like not as natural of a body type because he is like he is pretty wide in a lot of spaces and it just doesn't look that natural and I think it kind of kind of see that in the arms here to me the arms just seem a little bit too big and so do the legs which anyway I will get down there uh here in a second but again that's what a lot of people complained about and I think why that is it might be because of the inside the torso part here because they might have done have to do some other things to allow those wires from that being pulled to be, or have a short in them in case when you're posing this guy you accidentally tear one of the wires out which 
Anyway, I don't really think that'll happen, but that could have been the design in here, but at the same time, yeah. Uh, a little bit of the, too much padding in here. So now moving down, again, sorry for moving the camera so much, but here you can see we also have another, we have his tunic, which is actually stuck, it's stuck in the figure stand. So you can see we have that there and also his legs. Yeah, they're kind of bulky too. Again, this is a lot of padding sort of into this guy here, down here. And then we also have his boots, which anyway, on these ones, they're okay. They're pretty cool. Nice and they got that nice shiny gloss. Now the, the actual shoes here, uh, I, I, they're okay. Like you can see, it continues on here. It's like a whole, the whole thing here is pretty much is, except anyway, I think right here, actually, it's not, I don't think it's actually joined right here, which is cool. So you can get some posability there. Mostly, yeah. Uh, anyway, you're mostly just probably going to get a l not that much of side tilt just because of this armor piece pretty much like right there. And this isn't like a Hot Toys Iron Man where you could pull out the foot a little bit and get more posability. No. Again, this is just a normal figure. So you're, that's just going to kind of interfere. No, this leg's kind of loose. But anyway, you, again, you can bend it pretty good. Just have a, a double hinge. So you can play around with that, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty the same thing for the same lake, uh, for the other lake too. But again, I think for a sideshow Darth Vader, this isn't that bad, to be honest. Just, yeah, it's just a little bit maybe out of proportion in some places, but again, it's not that bad. And here again, you can also see the fisted hands. I did not have that in there. I do not. I don't think I mentioned it, but those are the fisted hands he comes with, which is, again, pretty cool. Again, it it is what it is. So, which is cool. And then the other issue that I have with this thing, yeah. Anyway, I don't know if it's just particularly mine, unless you guys have the same problem. If you have the same figure, is that these wrist pegs aren't. Uh, when you pull them out, so let me see which hand it is. I think it might be this hand right here. If you pull out the, the hand, okay, this one actually came out with the wrist peg. So I, I think it's the other one, actually. When you pull out the arm or the hand here, when you try to switch them out, um, yeah, there we go. You could see that the wrist peg uh, gets stuck inside of the actual arm. So if you have trouble with that, which anyway, I've been having trouble with that, and I've been trying to figure out a way to do it. Because I was going to use pliers, but all the pliers I had in the house here are kind of dirty. So I didn't really want to use dirty pliers. So I ended up finding these ones, which are pretty clean. And it's also a nice, easy, compact way to store them too. Don't worry, this isn't a sponsor. And I shouldn't have a sponsor yet because I don't even have that many subscribers. But anyway, what you can use this for, which anyway, I even think uh, Terry Smith talks about. So again, another, another video to talk about Terry Smith. And anyway, I'm just taking it easy. I don't want to damage these things, even though this is, uh, but you would mostly use the players here and grip onto the actual little thing here, the little peg. And you want to be careful with that. Cause again, I'm going to have to take this off camera for a second, just so I can get some pressure on it. Right, come on. Wow, this thing is stuck in there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, again, uh, this one, for some reason, on the right hand, gets very really stuck. So, you might need some extra tools just to help you there. Which, again, if you have a clean plier or if you're not really worried about using a plier that's sort of dirty, you can use that against in case there's figures like this. Which, anyway, if you're... Nowadays, the most uh, Vader's there pretty much available are going to be all hot toys so anyway I don't really think you'll run into that issue except for hot toys they actually have it where they don't have the pegs already pre-plugged into the glove they actually are uh, uh, already inside the, the wrist peg like the usual figures are but the only issue is I, why people and I, I would even say it too even though I don't have one of those figures yet is that when you it's probably it's gonna be harder to put it in 
with a fixed glove like this, because the, the Hot Toys is going to be exactly pretty much like this one. Just one solid piece. It isn't going to be like the Darth Maul one where you got the hand separated from the actual like top of the glove. I think that's with Darth Maul, I believe. So this that Vader doesn't have that, which anyway, if you already have the Empire Strikes Back, you'll already know that. But again, it just... And I'm probably going to complain about that when I make that video on that figure, is that it's just going to be a little bit tougher to put the hands onto the wrist peg like that. But anyway, as long as you don't break it, then you should be fine. But that pretty much wraps up the overall review on Vader. So now we're going to take a look. Or now we're going to go to the overall review and why I would say maybe, uh, to get this figure. So let's go do that now. Well, okay, guys, here, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you do want to pick up Vader for your own collection, you certainly can at Sideshow.com because there is a pre-order going on for this particular one. If you want to maybe get Empire Strike Back one, you can by looking at the Hot Toys variant that's going on. I did order that Hot Toys variant, which is the 40th anniversary edition, which is pretty cool. It's really cool. I like the... If you guys know what it looks like it has a really cool box but if you haven't i would definitely go and check that out the box design for it is really good it looks like the original og character boxes back from the day anyway i can't really say that because i never had those figures because eh, just haven't been around that long but again very cool if you do want to pick those two up you certainly can on sideshow and this one again is definitely on a pre-order if you want to pick it up really cool figure I really wish this light up feature was working for you guys so you can see it. But again, it is what it is and hopefully I can get batteries for it soon. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and by the matter of that, I will see you guys in the next one.